It's early morning. A few kilometers outside of Bordeaux, the sun has just begun to warm what will be this year's grape harvest in one of the world's most renowned wine districts. On this morning, Daniel Catillat, proprietor of Chateau Smith Eau Lafitte, has been out in the vineyard. He has inspected the unusually early ripening together with his agronomist. This morning the weather was so and so, and after we have a small rain, so we have to decide what to do, because the flowering is a very important moment. It's the, the moment which decides the quantity of uh, grapes we will have. If the flowering is good, you have plenty of wine, if not, you have less. So it was very important to look carefully and uh, to try to understand uh, about nature and what we have to do. Maybe it's this special attention to detail, the extreme amount of care that can account for a wine ranked among the finest in the world. Because in this industry, it's the small details that make a huge difference. We only sought, for instance, a receding moon, in order that the illness do not come through the branches. Uh, so uh, we have uh, the most expensive uh, uh, rose buds. <laughs> <laughs> pruning the over half of the month, you know. Florence and Daniel Catillard learned early on not to leave anything to chance. As members of the French National Alpine Ski Team in the 1960s, they became aware that the difference between winning and losing could lie in a very small detail. And since both were raised in a competitive atmosphere, they feel very much at home in Bordeaux home to some of the toughest competition in wine production. Bordeaux is the uh, neck plus ultra as far as fine wines are concerned and uh, it's where the competitive spirit is at its highest. Uh, every morning we want to make the best wine in the world, so it's, it's a very competitive it's well. Because a lot of our neighbors, they want to do so. <laughs> This year, it will mark 20 years since Florence and Daniel decided to become wine producers. And the vineyard has changed significantly over that time. New technology and new innovations, but they have also preserved the traditional way of cultivating wine, thereby maintaining excellent quality in their products. When we took over Chateau Smith Lafitte, the first thing we did was to sell the... Brand new? brand new harvesting machine because we thought this is not the way we want to to make wine we don't want to make an to industrial wine because for centuries they have been making great wines here so there is a lot of knowledge about uh, that you can find in tradition but you have also to improve with the new technology and to to try new ways. For example, uh, uh, we are making our own uh, barrels. It means that uh, we are one of the few chateaux in Bordeaux which, three. which buy uh, the wood in the forest, dry it for two years, and after craft the barrel uh, one by one. The old and the new go hand in hand here at Chateau Smith Eau Lafitte. While they harvest and plough in the traditional fashion, they also rent their own satellite. With the satellite, they can collect data that helps them see more precisely how the ripeness looks in different parts of the vineyard. Trying to improve the, the taste, and you have, you have to be very precise. It's like a high fidelity when you speak about the sound, you know, you, you have to to, to reach levels uh, with tech, new technology that they didn't reach before because they were not able. So you have a precision in the taste which uh, make your wine better than before and or better than the others. Wine production can be a fickle industry. After a plentiful year, perhaps a less successful year follows and one is always at the mercy of nature's unpredictability. Perhaps it was this factor that inspired the addition of a hotel and spa. First year we were, we had a big problem, we get frost. So 
So it was quite frustrating. We just bought the property and no crop first year. Second year was very rainy and very cold. The third year was not so good too. No. Uh, and after fourth year was okay and the fifth year was great. Great. Of course, 95. So uh, I will always remember this, you yes. know, and uh, from this time I thought, wow, uh, managing a, a Grand Cru Classé, you can have this back, this problem coming. And this is the reason why we decide to make the hotel, because the hotel, you know, uh, people are coming, even if we have a frost in the spring, it doesn't affect the way that they want to come here. So. It's, uh, it's making revenue for the, for the chateau. As they are open to new techniques and ideas, they have also found useful solutions for vineyard waste. As a result, their eldest daughter runs a very successful company within the skincare industry. Oh, it was an idea which came from uh, a, a professor uh, in research, uh, working in medical research, and so these people were trying to to find a new antioxidant, and they found it in, a, in a, they found them in a, in a vegetal uh, seeds. So it was a bright idea because we didn't do anything with the seeds of the white wines, and now that are used uh, for cosmetic reasons. Today, the hotel and the skincare products earn significantly more than the vineyard. But Florence and Daniel Catillard are satisfied with their contribution to these new business ventures. However, they are not especially interested in getting involved with the new project. They have grown to love and appreciate the daily work in the vineyard and their efforts to produce the world's best wine. We want, we want to make great wines and that's yeah. it. Our passion is to improve the quality. With Smith Lafitte, you are speaking with the stars, you know, so uh, that's a very um, adrenaline. <laughs> and we, we like it somewhere. It's the same spirit as uh, when we were uh, trying to be selected for the Olympics, you know. <laughs>